Good morning, Diva Nation, WRJRNs. It's your girl, Miss Diva, the Queen of Hearts. And um, it's Friday, y'all. Tonight, the Prince and Queen Takeover in full effect on WRJR. But got two for you today. Both of these people are in North Dakota. And um, the first one says, I want my girl back. Morning, Monica. And so I'm like, oh, you know, I got to ask some questions. Okay, what's up? What happened to your girl? He said that she walked out on him and she walked out because she didn't feel appreciated. She didn't feel like he loved her anymore and she just didn't want to be bothered anymore. So we got to talking a little bit and um, turns out that a lot of the stuff that he did in the beginning of the relationship, he no longer did. And um, those were key things for her because those are some of the things that really kind of pulled her in. And now he's not doing any of that anymore. So she's like, okay, well, I'm out. So, of course, you know, I'm going to ask questions. So I said, like, what kind of things? He said, I used to bring her flowers. I would do her hair. Yeah, wish he, somebody would do mine. <laughs> Headache again. Um, you know, it's, and it sounds like a lot of little things. So, my take on that is this. Um, the same things you did to get her are the things that you need to be doing to keep her. Hey, Tat. And a lot of people forget about this. We get complacent. We get comfortable. So, we stop doing those things anymore. And these sound like really little things and not hard to do. So... You lost your girl really on some stupidity. Um, as far as getting her back, I don't know. Um, maybe you need to show her that you really do appreciate her and maybe she'll come back. Um, I'm a simple girl. I don't ask for a whole lot. I just ask for, you know, some of your time, all of your respect, loyalty, you know, these things shouldn't be hard if you love that other person. And it sounds like he does love her. He just got caught up in that whole, you know, well, I've got you now. I don't have to work to keep you. No, that's when the work begins, when you get them. That's when the job starts. And a lot of people get complacent with that, thinking that that other person's not going to go anywhere. But surprise, she left. So the fact that she's still speaking to him that's a good thing because there's maybe a possibility for them to work through this. Um, I'm not saying go all out and, you know, buy her a rose garden or anything like that, but you need to start by showing her once again, what she means to you. And then once you start that, keep it up. And that's another reason why I tell people to do things within their means, because if you came out giving her Tiffany diamonds, I don't know if they even do diamonds. They, yeah, they do do diamonds. And I like that. And then now you want her to start shopping at Walmart. Sorry, boo. You just set yourself up for failure. So always try to send within your means, you know, just, just an FYI. Okay, just look here. Okay. Is it working now? I don't know. Are we go okay I think that's working yeah and Tati's saying if you can't keep it up then forget it exactly exactly um like I said I like simple things write me a note you know text me I love you or you know just simple things women are not as complex as men think we are we're complex because they think we're complex but we're not that hard to please so and it doesn't sound like she was hard to please. I don't understand where the disconnect is. She told you what she liked. You knew what she liked, but you fell off. Now you need to get back on that horse and ride it out into the sunset. Hopefully she'll be riding with you. And then the other gentleman, or the, actually it's a woman, she says, sex with my man is boring as What do I do to spice it up? I s <laughs> hmm. Well, my thought on that is, um, first off, you need to talk to your man. 
let them know, hey, this isn't quite working for me. Let's try some new things. Now, what will spice it up depends on where you two are willing to go with this. Um, and what you're comfortable with. I can tell you, yeah, go get some whipped cream and some this and this and this. You'll get the Kama Sutra and you both uncomfortable with it. What good is that going to do you? It's about knowing your other half. You got to know what he's willing, what you think he would be willing to do. And what you're comfortable with doing, you know, because it's, it's a team thing. And Tati saying, get some books or a game, try new things. Now, I like that now. Um, I actually have some games. And, you know, uh, there's, and then, oh, here's one that might be good for this, you guys. It's a dice game. Um, he gets a set of dice. You get a set of dice. You roll the dice. On the dice, it tells you what to do with what part of that person's anatomy to do it to on with or that, I mean that might be fun. I don't know because you know we didn't get into explicit detail as to why this is boring and I'm guessing it's just because it's just one position wham bam we're done sort of a deal but you know change up some stuff but again know your man be comfortable with what he let him be comfortable with what's going on and you have to be comfortable as well hey Al how you doing buddy <laughs> But I don't know. I don't. Yeah, you, you, you got to talk and you guys need to figure this out because being bored in the bedroom leads to you finding her or him finding pleasure outside of the bedroom. So y'all need to figure out what it is you're comfortable with and, and do some new things. And Tachi said thinking the exact same thing. Uh, pre The dice game mess massages don't just go for it right yeah exactly um a lot of men seem to think that foreplay is not necessary uh yeah it is yeah it is because just because you're ready doesn't mean she is so foreplay is very important um hey Lindsay T Prince that's the prince on my takeover tonight so a lot of a lot of men don't seem to get it that we're not ready just because they are. And so it's akin to running your arm across carpet real fast. Yeah, hurts, doesn't it? So <laughs> you got to get her ready. So if you're one of those just get in there and do it kind of guys, I'm going to need you to correct yourself. We don't like that. So spicing it up. Nothing wrong with that, but you have to spice it up within the comfort level of both both players. Otherwise, it ain't gonna work. So again, it's about knowing your significant your significant other and what their comfort level is. Now, if they're just straight up prude, you know, missionary only, no deviation, then you have two decisions. You either have to spin within that, or you need to move on because it's not your job to change them. But it's okay to open them up to new experiences. Hey, Maritza. So, you know, look at it that way. So, anyway, I'm going to go. Um, Got to do something about this headache. Um, yeah, my right eye is starting to close again, I see. So, I'll be back, excuse me, tonight live for Love Unlimited on, excuse me, from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. out east, 8 till 11 p.m. out west, and then back again for the old school cool down on Saturday, Sunday from 5 to 8 p.m. out east, 2 to 5 out west. And <laughs> Lindsay just posted up a song. That's a good one. He said, They Love It Slow by H-Town, 1989. Exactly. Exactly. Now, if we tell you all to go faster, yeah, that's a whole other thing. But don't just jump in like rabbits and think that this is good for us. You need to listen to our bodies, but more importantly, listen to our mouths, okay? Because we're going to tell you what we want. So, and I expect the man to do the same thing. If it's not working for him, he needs to say something. Otherwise, again, Boredom in the bedroom leads to you finding pleasure in somebody else's bedroom, and that's not cool. So, 
communicate. I stress that in any type of commi- any type of relationship. Communication. Okay? All right. I will see y'all tonight for Love Unlimited. Also, if you're part of a couple still looking for winners, get those emails or those those videos in. Um Still got one more prize left for that. And also call in and win opportunities on the air this weekend. So I will holler at y'all later. This is the last weekend. Bye-bye.